So one of the biggest barriers to consistency, in my assessment at least, is impatience. People not being able to stay on track for more than, in some cases, a week at a time. Getting discouraged, perhaps, at the first perceivably bad weigh-in. I should use air quotes there, bad weigh-in, because the scale, as I've talked about many times, isn't always indicative of your actual progress anyway. So, frankly, in my mind, it's absolutely preposterous to just give up based on one single weigh-in, but this is what people are often doing. Or, and you see this a lot too, believe it or not, I see this loads, people are actually having a relatively decent degree of success with weight loss, but because in their mind six years ago they did juicing and they lost eight pounds in the first week, this three pounds they lost is completely unacceptable and therefore, why even bother? I may as well have the chocolate cake anyway. And that's only because they have the story in the comparison from something they did years ago albeit extremely extreme, right? If they didn't have that story, if they didn't have that memory to go back on that experience, they might look at that three pounds and go, you know what, that's not bad. Sometimes they might go, wow, that's phenomenal, that's amazing. So you see what I mean? These stories and these comparisons and these experiences we've had previously or experiences that other people have had that we've heard reflections on, oh my goodness, that can make such a difference. It can really turn our head. So yeah, you gotta be careful that you're not too impressionable or influenced by those things. Um, so yeah, impatience is a tricky thing. Now, on the flip side of things, I think this is a much smaller bunch of people, but I've also worked with a lot of people in the past who were far too patient for their own good. They say things like, well, at least I'm on the downward trend, Ryan, at least it's dropping, but they might only be losing half a pound a week. I mean, for some people, half a pound a week might be a respectable amount. Like if you're at the last couple of pounds there, that might be a respectable and very sustainable way to do things versus being so aggressive, which is tricky at the last little bit stage, the last little bit of body fat stage. Um, for someone that's 300 pounds and has admittedly 150 pounds to lose, half a pound a week, in my mind at least, is completely unacceptable. Yes, it's better than nothing, but to really stick to that line and to toe the line of, well, at least it's on the downward trend, I think is actually a self-justification for not pushing yourself harder. Make sense? So I suppose what I'm trying to, trying to illustrate here, and you can probably guess where I'm going with this, is a bit of a paradox. And that's why I call the chapter in Mind Mastery the patience paradox. You can go too far with impatience and you can go too far with patience. So that brings us on to the question, what is the sweet spot? Well, my general philosophy with this, I'm not gonna break down necessarily the how to, but my general philosophy with this is you need to be patient whilst remaining results oriented. You need a sense of urgency about what you're doing but you also need an acceptance that you are playing a long-term game. Does that make sense? So if you're judging yourself just on one week's progress or a couple of weeks progress, in my mind, that is far too premature. And even if you're, even if you're not seeing results over let's say a two week period or a three week period, that of course doesn't mean you chuck in the towel. I should have mentioned that at the start as sort of a a bit of a disclaimer, that's of course not my view either. You stay around and you do tweaks. Now, if you're not patient, you're not gonna be able to do that either. So that's why I think there is this sweet spot where you still remain patient, but you are still results oriented, you're analyzing your progress, and you don't just accept that, oh, if you're on the downward trend, that's, not, that's good enough. Okay, it's better than nothing, it's better than no results, and there are some cases whereby I will let that slide for a client if they're on the downward trend, but in most cases, if a client is doing what I think or is achieving what I think, in my mind at least, based on my assessment, is a poor rate of returns, I'm always going to push them for more. That's my job. No, I don't want people to get so obsessed with the numbers and the scales that they, it sort of drives very extreme behavior. But there's a reality here. We want things to be efficient. We want that weight to come off. We want to get you to healthy body weight. I don't want to do it lightning fast so it's unhealthy or unsustainable, as I say. I must keep stressing that. But I also don't want it to be ridiculously slow that it drags on and on and on and on, especially when somebody is paying me good money to do that. Makes sense? So patience, but with still a sense of urgency and being very results oriented. I think that's the sweet spot. I just wanted to alert you here as to, as to the dangers of being too impatient, but also being too patient on the ad. Verse. Hope this helps in some way and gives you some food for thought.